you up or break you down. Think about a time in your life when your words hurt someone or help someone. There's many words that are timeless, words that have been spoken hundreds of years ago. Such words were spoken by Theodore Roosevelt on April 23, 1910. I would like for you to picture yourself in this speech by Theodore Roosevelt called A Man in the Arena. You are all in the arena today with me. I stand here today to share and speak those words that I believe are more relevant today than they were 100 years ago. The speech goes like this. It's not the critic who counts. It's not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and comes up short again and again. Because there is no effort without error or shortcoming, but who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself for a worthy cause. And who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly. There's many messages and lessons in those words. I'm going to give you three of those lessons coming from the critic, from the arena, and from the worthy cause. Lesson number one comes from the critic. It's not the critic who counts. Each one of us, each one of you, have a critic. It could have been a teacher who told you your grades suck. And those words could have spoken anger, resentment, fear, failure in your life. Some of you, those words from the critic could have come from a friend who told you that you're just not a good friend. Some of you, that critic could have been a parent. For me, that was my stepfather, Sergeant Fritz. Growing up, Fritz would tell us, kids should be seen, not heard. Who wants to be told that your voice doesn't matter? Each one of us have that critic in our head. The lesson from the critic is, Replace that voice, those voices, with people who care about you. Look around this room. There's people who care about you. They are here today. So when that credit comes in your head, replace it with people who care. Lesson one. Lesson number two comes from the arena. The arena of life can be exciting, but also be at times daunting. It could be ugly. It could be dirty, messy, bloody. For some of you, the arena could be failing out of a class, or for some of you, it could be losing a job or losing a deal from a client. For me, the arena was one of my clients who told me after 10 years, I'm evil, that I should not be doing what I'm doing. All because I had the courage to stand up and call out the behavior on their team. As a result, I could have lost that client for 10 years, but I knew that the lesson from stepping into the arena, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be dusty, it's going to be dirty and challenging. So step into the arena. Stand up for what you believe to be true. And when you do, you're going to get knocked down. 
You may have a fear of failure, but if you stand up for what you believe to be true, in the end, that lesson learned will give you courage and strength. The third lesson comes from that part that we all love, a cause, a worthy cause, something that gives us purpose, gives us passion. For some of you, it could be graduating from college and landing that dream job. For some others, it could be going to love, getting married, having children, reproducing yourself. For others, it could be starting a new business, bringing on new clients. For me, it was that one client who said I was evil. In the face of adversity, the facing failure turned around and said, you were the best thing that has happened to us. Thank you for standing firm in your beliefs and confronting us on our behavior. As a result, this client and company has been transformed and they just hired me to be their intern COO. As a result of facing the critic, and replacing those negative voices with positive voices from people that care about me and stepping into the arena finding a worthy cause and believing what we believe in, you can too dare greatly stand in the face of failure. 